Welcome all. In this lecture, I'll be taking the program class in the ASP.NET Core 3.1. So we have started the new playlist on exclusively ASP.NET Core 3.1 lectures, concept plus hands-on. Um, in the previous lecture on project file. So this is the second part you can say. So what we are going to do today is about the program class which is building a web host and in this video we shall learn the features of the new program class in the ASP.NET Core 3.1 application and quickly compare the handling of different configuration features between the program and the startup classes and also get introduced to the generic host concept introduced first in the ASP.NET Core 3 recently. Okay. So all ASP.NET Core applications start as a console application with a program file or program.cs file, just like a .NET framework console application that you are all familiar with, which uh, has got a main entry point, the void main. So we in the program file. So ASP.NET Core also starts all the application, even is if it is a web application, it starts as a console application, and then we'll see the fun. Now this program file contains a static void main function, which I was just mentioning, which is the entry point of a console app in .NET. And in ASP.NET Core applications, the main method is used to run as an iWebHost instance and we'll get back to what is iWebHost instance in a bit. This iWebHost is the core of your ASP.NET Core application containing the application configuration and the Kestrel server that listens for requests and sends response. So Kestrel server is the internal server of for ASP.NET Core as opposed to the IIS or IIS Express. Okay, so let's switch over to Visual Studio and inspect the program file. So this is an ASP.NET Core web application. It has come from the standard template of ASP.NET Core web application uh, like we did last time. We are continuing with the same project and same solution. And in this program file, you can see there's quite a few things. This is the main entry point, the void main. And it starts with a create host builder. And it um, passes the args or arguments. Now this creates an iHost builder using the create host builder method, which is called in the iHost builder. In this method, create host builder, which returns an iHost builder. Okay. And what it does is that it creates an i host builder using the default configuration this method and within this create host builder method it is actually starting a, it is calling a create default builder on the host class okay it's an extension class it provides convenience methods for creating instances of i host builder okay so it creates an iHost builder using the default configuration and then it configures the application to use Kestrel this part configure web host default so it configures the application to use Kestrel and listen to the HTTP port for the requests and finally it uses the startup class which defines most of your application configuration which we'll see in the next lecture okay now the main function contains all the basic initialization code required to create a web server and to start listening for requests. So at this point, you may be wondering why you need two classes for configuration, the program and the startup class. So, okay, so this is the startup class, which we'll be covering next. So why not the only one class, either of the two program or the startup class? Now, Generally speaking, the program is where you configure the infrastructure. This program class, you will configure the infrastructure of your application, such as the HTTP server, integration with IIS and the configuration sources. 
in contrast this startup class here you define the components and features your application uses and the middleware pipeline for your app so we'll be covering that in more detail in the next couple of lectures okay so let's switch over to the slideshow we can see that there's a figure one and this has got two blocks the first block you know here it is the program class it keeps all the infrastructure configuration and this is the startup class now what does the program class handle it handles all the application settings logging the internal kestrel server content root and the iis integration part okay so it is all related with the infrastructure of the application whereas the startup class keeps all the application specific behavior like in you know, a dependency injection and the middleware pipeline and endpoint configuration say so these are all the within the scope of the startup class program class is seldom changed over the lifetime of a project so once it is formed you hardly ever need to change the program class once you know your template is the project template is created okay then the program classes for two different asp.net core applications will generally be the same it will most of the times if not always it will always i mean it will be the same unless you change it which is really required okay but the startup classes between the two applications differ significantly so you update startup whenever you add say for example a new get package and you get dependency to your project to make use of it now in the default template within the program class the create default builder method hides a lot of app configuration that takes place so switching back to the visual studio if you see this so create default builder now this actually hides a lot of app configuration that takes place behind the scene and there is this configure web host defaults is it is also another helper method okay which is uh, used by this um, create host builder method now there is a good question that may pop up in your mind that is why we need the two helper methods like you know this uh, create default builder and you know configure web host default why not um, just one of them why can't we get by just using one method as handling http request is the whole point of the asp.net core now the answer lies in the fact that starting asp.net core 3 we have the generic host concept that's a new concept which was introduced first in asp.net core 3 this generic host concept allows us to use non http applications for example windows services run as console app to run background tasks or run message queues and using much of the same framework as the asp.net core application which also contains like this one is web application the web framework and the internal kestrel server are built on top of the generic host functionality where you configure the generic host features such as configuration logging and dependency services for web apps you then configure also the services such as kestrel to handle web request now we are already into program file in visual studio now once this i host builder is returned from the create host builder method build method it this call to this build method produces the i host instance so you can see that i host instance is there okay finally it is the call to the application is still not running and waiting for the um, to send back response to a request only when the run method is called it will start listening for the request and generate a response okay so that's all about the program class that i wanted to cover in this lecture and in this lecture we have seen that uh, what is a program class and how it starts with the you know um, main method for the application to be started as a console application and thereafter it creates a web infrastructure uh, on top of the console application and how it is different 
from the startup class. Thank you.